Homes are lush and green as many of ours die out. But are these businesses breaking the rules? That's the burning question on more than a few minds tonight. And it all started with an email from a viewer who wants to know why are their lawns so green? CBS 13's Tony Lopez is getting answers. As you can see, the lawn uh, has been getting a lot of water, so that's why it's dying at, right at the moment. Earl Schoen is green with envy these days because as he shows us his not-so-green lawn, he tells us what he's been noticing as he drives around parts of Sacramento. And, well, it has him seeing red. There's a nice lawn. There's a lush one. And, hey, not too shabby. It's as if these businesses and this high school dodge the drought bullet and are soaking on the sidelines of our severe watering restrictions. They have nice lawns, and my question is why? And are their rules different? Amy Talbot is with the Regional Water Authority. So my best answer for that is the prohibitions apply to all Californians. That includes businesses. If that's the case, what's going on here? One possible reason? There's often a disconnect um, between the business owner and the landscape managers. And the owners tell the landscape managers, keep my lawn looking green, keep my landscape lush and green so we can have customers come. And since private landscapers don't pay the water bill, they can easily overwater. But is that the case with these businesses? In a word, no. We checked and there are no overwatering penalties headed their way. In fact, Jiffy Lube tells us they turn their sprinklers on just two days a week at its Marconi location. Matt Graham from Jiffy Lube sent this response when we went digging for answers. We follow the regulations and guidelines as set by the city of Sacramento. Months ago, we put in more efficient water sprinkler heads and upgraded timers at some of our stores. So, what did AT&T say when we dialed up a request for an answer to its lush lawn along Watt Avenue? They tell us they too are abiding by the water district's restrictions and have actually cut their water use by 50%. So, how are these lawns staying so green? It's a case of you get what you pay for. Water district officials say professional landscapers are better equipped to navigate through the rough waters of a drought. And you still can have a green lawn following your watering restrictions depending on your watering habits. But public high schools like this one don't have deep pockets to afford expert landscapers. So what's going on here? This answer is a bit more complicated. Our viewer was right. We found Miraloma High School watering in the middle of the day on a day they weren't supposed to be watering. A San Juan Unified District spokesperson tells us it was a mistake. The contractor in charge of some new construction on campus felt the need to run the sprinklers after they had been turned off for a week and had manually turned them back on. The high school has now told that contractor to let them decide when to water. Meantime, our viewer has decided as he looks at his brown lawn, one thing has been firmly planted in his mind, worry. We're concerned. We want to have enough water for everybody. Now, to be fair, Mira Loma High School has reduced their water use by 20%, and they have taken steps to redesign their campus to make it more drought-friendly.